Hey all, this is my uh, Venture Plan and Covenant Mission Helper tutorial. Basically, these are two add-ons that when used together make it really easy to do the missions uh, in this expansion. Uh, first off, let's start with companions. These are all my companions right now. I don't have a lot. I have more on Greenstone. But uh, when I tried to do this video over there, my microphone wasn't working. So let's try it on this character. Um, I only have 4,000 anima, as you can see. So when you're doing this, you have to be aware of how much anima you have and how many companions you have. Uh, most of my missions are low missions on this character. I have one or two that might be a little bit higher. So I'm not sure if I'll be able to show you all the functions of the, of the actual add-on. But let's start. First thing you'll notice is that each mission that's not that's out there, it's different. It's not shown in a list anymore. It's actually square or rectangular. And it gives you two buttons. It gives you a skull and a select adventurers. Select adventurers let you select which companions you want to go to uh, to actually go on the mission. Um, the skull will just pick a random selection of adventurers, most likely your lowest, and just send them out. And it's basically a doomed run at that point. It's, it's, it's made to give you just pure XP. You'll notice that it tells you how much XP you'll get from each run. This will give you a thousand plus a hundred. So you're, you're basically going to be getting a hundred XP even if you fail this, alright? If you win, you get a thousand. So let's go into the actual mission. These are the guys that you'll be fighting, and you'll notice that these are actually two different panels. One is the Venture Plan panel, okay, which is the one that's on the left, and then there's the uh, Covenant Mission Helper, which is the one on the right. You'll notice the levels of the actual quest that you'll be going on. It's a level 12 quest. It tells you how much time, tells you how much XP, alright? And basically, it tells you, you know, that you have these companions that are available. Alright? Looking at the companion tab again, you'll notice that each companion has a level next to them, and they have the amount of XP it will cost to actually level them up. That one will be leveled up pretty easily. 150 XP. You'll notice that when a, when a companion is going to be leveled up quickly, there'll be an arrow next to them. So looking, looking at this companion, the amount of XP to next level is 50. This one, 950 this one 950 so it tells you when your companion is going to be leveled up all right so this is a level 12 quest this guy's 16 so i'm going to send him out by himself and i'll see how many uh troopers i need to to win this you'll notice that it only gave me one trooper to win it that's enough you don't need any more than that okay but every time that you send out a trooper Basically, that XP is going to that trooper as well, as well if they're winning. So you're going to be, if you just send these two guys out, each one will get 1,100. But you don't want that. You want actually to have XP sent to all your troopers. And I don't know if it will actually double up on them, so I normally fill out all the, all the actual uh, available slots so that if it does double up, you know, it'll actually give you XP twice. You'll notice a couple of other things. Down at the bottom here, there is an optimized by average HP. Basically, what this does is that sometimes Venture Plan will give you a set of companions or troopers that it thinks it'll win. But then, on, Ven on the Covenant Mission Helper, It'll, it might say loss. So what you want to do is you want to click on the button so that it'll give you the average HP. 
and uh, optimize by HP. I'm sorry. And basically, you click on that, and it'll optimize by HP. It'll rearrange where they're standing, and it'll actually give you a win at that point. Now you'll notice that once you have a win there, it says assign party. It's going to cost you 14 uh, anima on this one. Okay, so I sign it. Where is it? It's not here. It's down at the very bottom. You'll notice how it's all, how they're all filled out, all the spots, and it gives you edit party so that you can go back to edit it, and it also gives you an X so that you can cross it out and you can start all over. Okay. Normally, what I like to do is send them out immediately. I don't wait until I have a bunch of my missions done, uh, selected because you can easily get confused. Okay, so I send it out, and boom, that mission becomes great. Okay, let's go to the next mission. That one's a uh, level 19 mission. Only has one person that you have to fight. Let's try it again. That's it. It filled out those spots for me. Same thing. Fill them out. Optimize. Send. It's pretty simple. After a while, you're doing this pretty quickly. So here's one that's a little bit higher. He's a level 24. I'm going to send the 17, see if it'll work. Sometimes they don't work. So you notice, it gave me a little bar there. It was calculating to see if it'll work. It doesn't work. So what do I do? Basically, I can switch the person out, try a different one. I can keep doing that pretty easily. Now I'm on a higher level. That guy's 18. All the other ones were 17. This guy's 39. Let's see if he'll win. Boom, he wins. Alright? And it's, uh, if you notice, the troopers don't matter. They can be 17. Uh, and this guy's high enough that he'll win the thing for you. Okay? Now, you'll notice that only one type of trooper was selected. The add-on does that a lot. You don't want to allow that. You want to take out at least two of the troopers, put in the other type so that you can get the XP for it. And now you'll notice it says lose or loss. Um, basically click on optimize by average HP and if it still does that then you basically can't do what I said to do which is switch them out. You have to go back and optimize again and back and optimize again. And if it says win and that, that's it, that's when you send it out. Okay? Sometimes it will win when you switch them but on this one it won't work so I'm sending this group out like it is and again it's pretty easy you just click on send tentative parties this is a level 14 this one should be easy to win with a 17 boom and again I'll do this optimize and I'll send it out so pretty quickly, this one is level 49. I don't think I'll ever be able to win it with any of my guys. But let's see. No. No. Let's let's kill let's do it quickly. No. No. Venture Plan is telling me there's a win there. But of course, I don't see that any way of that winning if it says lose, still. If you notice, it says lose. Let's hit the optimize button. Still says lose. This is a no-win scenario. Venture Plan is wrong on this one. You send this group out, and basically, um, you're going to lose. Now, that'd be fine, because each one of these guys will get 1,000 XP. But look at all the other missions I have. So before I do this mission that way, I want to make sure that the other missions are complete. So I'll take these guys out, and I could have hit the X on there, I didn't, I didn't have to send it. But uh, again, I'm not going to do this mission just yet. Let's go to this mission, which is a level 
18. And this one is an XP mission, so you want to make sure that you have a trooper, two troopers, and another one of you guys that's uh, pretty low. If you could actually put more of them, that's better. And that's a win right there. I'll send that out. This one's 17. And again, you don't have to do them at the level that it states. You can go lower on your characters. I just have companions that are a little bit higher right now, and each one of these missions are higher. And as you notice, it gave me uh, three of those, and I put a fourth. Let's try this guy. You see, he's winning. I can switch one out, switch this guy in, and again, a win. Optimize. All right? That's a win. That's another win. But as I said, there are situations where you're going to see Venture Plan will tell you uh, that a set is good, but then Covenant Mission Helper will say there's no way to win. And that's when you want to basically not send out your, your mission. If you do, you're just accepting the loss and uh, you're just going to get the XP for the loss. See this one. This one is very strange. It's very unique. Just by sending him by himself, he will win this. And there are eight eight different uh, enemies that he can actually go against. I've never seen this before. This is a very unique one. Um, in the end, I'd rather have him uh, I'd rather have him have companions with him and troopers with him so that they get the XP as well because that's what you're really doing. You're trying to push all of your companions and your troopers to level 60 so that you can just basically you know, click on them and go. So you don't have to worry about get, getting XP for them. So optimize, and I can send it. Now you'll notice, now that I've sent all those guys out, I only have one left. I really can't complete this one. But, how much XP will I get for sending out people? A thousand XP. I'm going to lose out on my cinders, I will lose out on the... Veiled Augment Rune, but a thousand XP that means that basically I get more XP for these troopers. So might as well send it out. And here's the other thing. As I've been doing this, my anima has been dropping. So I had like 4,000 when I started. Now I only have 3,700. So again, watch how much anima you have before you start doing these things. And you should be fine. As you notice, this is going to be a doomed run, but I'm sending it out anyway, alright? Now, all my companions are grayed out. Troopers are still there because you can't send troopers by themselves. But when these missions are completed, alright, what's going to happen is you'll get a button up on top that says complete missions. You click on that button, and all of these missions will complete at once, as long as they've gone, gone through their time. No more pick and, pick and prod and pick and prod and pick and prod uh, to find, you know, the button for completing it. Which is one of the big benefits of Venture Plan, okay? And you saw how automated it was with everything else. The game is not doing it for us. The add-on is not doing it for us. We're still making our choices. We're still doing everything ourselves. But it's going a lot quicker now. Okay, because the logic of the table is m much more easy to understand. All right, hopefully, this little tutorial helps. If you still have questions, you can ask me. A couple of things Venture Plan is on Curse Forge, so is Covenant Mission Helper. The only problem with Venture Plan it has not been updated. 
if you have 20 companions or more it will toss an error there is a fix but we haven't been able to contact the creator of the add-on to actually get it updated he's on hiatus and uh, it's a real simple fix I've already put the file on discord all you have to do is uh, basically Uh, download the file off of Discord and you'll have the fix. Alright? Thanks a lot. Have a nice day.